Hi there. So when I was thinking of what uh, tutorial to do next, I got to thinking about uh, how I kind of made the transition to uh, using a kind of professional uh, video editing piece of software rather than something just like uh, Windows Paint, which is probably what everyone starts on. Um, and I remember the biggest revelation I had, which is when I discovered something called masks. Now, masks are kind of uh, is, is a way of um, removing uh, content, but also a way of being able to reintroduce that content um, without it being uh, destructive. So previous to that, I would use a um, perhaps an eraser tool. But what that meant is that if I wanted to reintroduce something, I'd gone a bit too far, raised too much maybe, I'd probably have to do a control Z and then it would come back and then have to slowly uh, tweak and, and refine my uh, what I'd removed. Now, there's a problem with that in that if uh, down the line, you, maybe you've made a, a bunch of uh, changes afterwards, a bunch of edits, maybe five or 10 or 20 edits after you've removed something, you can't really go back and undo your, um, your eraser tool unless you also undo all of the other changes you've made. Now with masks, um, you can always kind of go back and reintroduce um, parts of an image or a photo, whatever you want later on because the mask is always there at least until you remove it now masks can do much more than that but i just want to i just thought it's worth um giving a tutorial on what on the basics of what masks can do because don't be like me because i spent months if not probably years not knowing what a mask was and not using a mask and basically spending a lot of time um just using the wrong tool and not using masks um and this is going to be really simple, like I say, because there's a lot of things you can do with masks that aren't really just related to removing uh, content. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do here is open an image. Um, there we go. This is just an image I got off, um, I think, on Splash or Pixabay. It doesn't matter, really. Um, there we go. And you'll see it's opened as a layer. And down here, the very first button says Mask Layer. There we go. And if you click on that, it hasn't done anything, but it's introduced a mask layer. And you see it's because it's like a sub a sub layer of our initial image, this layer, um, this mask will uh, apply any, any changes to this image. Okay. And you'll see this mask is white. And I'm just going to show you with the mask now. I'm going to go in here, edit mask. This is the mask. It is white. Now what that means is anything that what that's white makes it makes the image visible anything that is black or a shade of black then makes that um, image um, transparent to a larger or lesser degree so if i if i make our if i select a brush here there we go and i make that brush black like so okay and i paint here on our mask to be honest this isn't how I would normally do it, but I'll show you the other way in a minute. There we go. If I, I now go back to the image, double click, you'll see that now that area of our image is transparent. Okay. Now you don't have to edit the mask directly. In fact, generally most people wouldn't do it, but I'm just demonstrating how it works. Now here was my, here's the revelation. Okay. If I think, oh, I didn't want to delete that, by the way, oh, control Z, I was actually painting on the, um, painting on the image there rather than the mask. If I think, oh, I've, I've deleted too much. I don't want to, I don't want that. All you have to do, um, in fact, let me just come in there. That's all you have to do is make your mask white. Okay. Uh, make sure you, you've selected the mask over here and then you can just go over with basically what is your white paintbrush it's this is a white paintbrush I'm, I'm using by the way but i'm applying the white paintbrush to our mask layer as you see it just reintroduces our image there and that is a great revelation <laughs> or it was to me now that means so many things and it lets you do all kinds um so um let's just uh just briefly i'm just going to add another pixel layer here um Actually, let's let I tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll delete that. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to uh, open an image. Let's have is it that one? Let's have that one. Um, let's open another image. In fact, let's 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 place it on there. Um, do, 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 place 
let's get some elephants there we go and I'm just going to paste our elephants on there like so okay let's just drop that below there and I'm just going to do this a bit scrappily here but this just just gives you an idea of of how useful masks can be so I'm going to come on to our main foreground here it's called it background but it's not that's only because I when I introduce it and let's say I'm going to introduce a mask to there okay and I want to make this a whole um, there we go so I'm going to go with a paintbrush Excuse. I don't want that it's, it's important you don't have a mixture by the way there we go um, and let's just increase the size there like I say I'm not being too fussy about it I'm just going to paint our mask here with black by the way you're not seeing black but the, the black paintbrush is being applied to our mask layer okay there we go um, done really scrappily as you can see uh, let's let's come in there actually and let's just um, let's just turn that off and let's just shrink that down a bit there we go okay now the beauty of masks is basically if I think I've made a really scrappy job of this hole which I have to be honest I can come back here to our mask select our mask um, I can make the mask white again and then I can um, just make sure we've got our brush selected and now I can go back and just reintroduce stuff if I want that I think I deleted and just want to bring back in a bit like so I'm not going to spend too long on it um, and of course you can you can continue uh, uh, making other changes and adding other things to your image or making it brighter darker changing the contrast and so long as this mask remains here you can go back and make the changes you want so that's basically what a mask is and I'll just show you what the mask looks like um, so always imagine a, a mask well let me just show you a couple more things actually so here's a mask there it is and if I come down here and click edit mask if I want to come in and edit it I can I can change it back again from within the, the mask itself like so uh, or I can add other bits here Oop. there we go not that you'd want to do it like this to be honest now the other thing is this is it's black and white but you don't have to make it black or white because what it does a mask looks at the the kind of the shade of what you're doing okay so you could have you could have a if you paint a 50% opacity black mask on like so where are we we got a, got a paintbrush on if we paint gray that will ba basically make it 50% um, transparent um, in addition if you were to set any other color okay like um, does it let me do that I don't think no it just takes it as a, as a tone um, but yeah so basically it takes it even if you select a color it just takes the the black tonality of that and just converts it into a, into a shade of, of black so let's just come back into our main image there and as you can see there you go it's applied different shades of of transparency so um there you go that's that's the basis of what a a mask is and does but in later tutorials i'm going to show you how you can use that creatively um, to do all kinds of different things Thank you very much.